Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing these beautiful mountains. To get started, we're going to do a watercolor base using our rainbow watercolor set. First thing I want to draw is the horizon line, which is right about here in between the mountains and the grass. So we're going to take our light green, and if you don't have a difference between dark green and light green, you can just add some yellow to your green and that should help make it light. You can also add a lot of water. Once you establish your horizon line, then let's start on the mountains. So the mountains, we're going to use a dark green. You can always add a blue to your green. These are the trees that line the bottom of the mountains. And since they come up into the edge of the mountain, so the mountain range line is up here. And since the trees come up into the mountains, we want to get that jagged sense. We want movement. So I'm sweeping my brush this way. Once you have your tree line established, you can take your dry brush and dip it into your green pigment. And you can start to add in some texture for the trees. Now there's a set of trees right on the horizon line. So I'm going to concentrate on those first. And then if you think about it, the trees are on a hill. So they would be going upwards on an incline. So we want the texture that we're adding to also be going up on the incline. You're going to need a very dry brush for this because we want to see the brush strokes. That's what's giving us the look of branches on the evergreens that are going up the mountain. We want the colors to be varied too. We want some parts to be darker, some parts to be lighter. Now let's work on the reflection. So the way that this painting is set up, we have the mountains up here and then there's a lake below. So the lake is going to directly reflect the mountains. But before we do the tree line part of the lake, let's add in these ferns. or plants along the lake edge. You're still going to want to keep your brush dry for this because we want to have all these lines. And the way that these ferns look, they're in little clumps. So 
We're going to do clumps with our brush. And there's a big clump over here. Fill this in a bit. And add in some darker lines with more pigment. Again, to help with the texture. And let's take a light brown. And draw in the beach. And can add in some darker brown, show that the beach is not just sand, it has some dirt mixed in. You can dab at the grass, help bring in that color. Take a little bit more light green, dab, and to blend it in a bit more. Okay, once you're happy with your beach area, then we can start doing the reflection of the tree line in the water. First, let's draw the edge of the water. And then we want it to be reflected. So whatever is happening above, we want the same general thing to happen below. But it doesn't have to look exactly the same because when it reflects in the water, it changes slightly. So the water alters the image a bit. I just want to have pretty close. And then we'll fill in We want this to be pretty smooth to show that the water is peaceful. Okay, once we have our tree line established, then let's work on the mountains. So for the mountains, I'm going to use light blue and these are snowy mountains so we want to keep some white but we'll be adding in some more white later on so won't have to worry too much about keeping the white. We do want to add in blue for the ridges. And you want to keep your brush pretty dry for the texture. So we want it to be nice and rocky. We also want to add in some black or gray. Add in a bit more blue.
Okay, once you're happy with your mountains above, again, don't worry too much about the white. We'll be adding white over top of this. And let's work below. You want to blend the blue into the tree line area when we're doing the reflection because the water would be mixing together. And let's add in some gray. And let's take our blue and we'll uh, add a lot of water We get a nice light coat for the sky. And since this is a reflection, we we'll want it to be pretty blue for the water. My reflection is a little bit bigger in this drawing than in my sample, but the flow still feels right to me, so I'm going to keep working. Adding in a bit more blue. And a bit more green. Darken the colors up in the water. And then to carry the reflection of the brush or the ferns, I'm going to add in some lines. It's okay if it blends or bleeds into the rest of the tree line. This is just so we have that hint of reflection. And then for our sky, we take some blue and a lot of water. Go all the way to the edge. You want a faded effect, effect help show clouds, cloud line here. You can put the most pigment along the edge of your paper and then work your way to fading it down by adding water as you go along. And then finally, let's add in our tree silhouette here. So this tree is popping out in the corner. We're going to add in some green for the tree. You can hint at the trunk. I'm just stippling right now. or dotting the page with my brush. And use some black to really emphasize that this is in the foreground. And a little bit of brown. And add in some brown lines. 
for the branches. And while we have some brown, let's add some more brown into our ferns. Keep them nice and varied. And a little bit of the reflection too. And let's dab in some brown into our trees and the mountain tops and along the horizon line. Okay, so once we're at this point, you're gonna wanna let it dry. Overnight is best, an hour or two should work good as well. Hello and welcome back to Library Drawing Party. Now we're gonna be adding our finishing details to our mountain drawing. Get started, let's take our dark green and let's add in some more texture lines to our ferns lining the beach. Then let's add some lighter lines and the reflection in our lake. Let's take our sandy color and add in some highlights. Add in a little bit of texture to our beach. We'll add a bit of stippling into our grass. And a bit of green stippling into the grass. Also add some more horizontal lines so it'll help bring out our horizon line. Then for the trees, let's just add in some more texture. Going on a diagonal again to emphasize that incline of the hills. I'm not doing it everywhere, just in pieces just to help bring out some of those tree branches doing some going the opposite direction too a little like cross hatching but i don't want to do the whole thing just parts and add in some circular lines along the horizon line for the trees at the base you can even emphasize the horizon line a bit then we want to work on this tree so I'm just going to draw in lots of squiggly lines for the branches so we want this to be, be very free form for our tree silhouette in the front by doing the squiggly lines we're emphasizing that this tree is not part of our tree line and that it's its own separate entity let's take our dark brown and emphasize the trunk a bit have it come out let's add in some branches Add in some dark curly cues. Again, this will help separate this tree from the rest of the tree line. And then we 
have some coming down here. Let's do some more squiggles. And then I'm going to add just some shadow by just drawing in some heavy green lines. Okay, once we have our tree drawn in, then we can work on the mountain. So we'll take our correction fluid or white paint and add in some snow caps to our mountains. We don't want to add the snow everywhere, but this is a good opportunity to create some highlights and show the hills and valleys and the mountain tops. And then everything that we do above needs to be reflected in the water, so let's add some snowy peaks to our reflection. Again, the reflection doesn't have to be exactly the same as what's above because the water will distort the image, but I do want to have some of that snow in it. I also want to add in some gray. You can blend this with your finger. I also want to add in a little bit of dark brown. The base of our ferns. Really emphasize the reflection and the beach line. And there you have it. That's our mountain drawing. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. And keep being creative.